Hello and welcome to another day on the wings of love. And just as we say it, love in the air. So I'm AJ Crento and I'm joined in by my two lovely ladies. So today we have a new face. Nanaba Anan Nanaba. Yeah, welcome to the round table. Thank you very much, AJ. Thank you. I'm grateful. And thanks for having me on the show. Yes, please. So Nanaba, tell us a bit about yourself so we get to know you. Alright, so I'm a young entrepreneur. I do private catering, client service executive, a voiceover artist, and some other private businesses I wouldn't want to discuss here. Okay, so you're welcome again. Thank you. And as you much. already know, Chrysler Ajuman. Hello, Chrysler. Hello, Ajuman. Okay, so guys, today we are talking about social media. Mm -hmm. It's been too long that we are all familiar with social media. Gone are the days when you have to, you actually pick your phone and call that friend. You don't normally call them again. You just mm -hmm. test or you post a picture just to know that you are there and you are doing that or that. We are asking how social media is affecting our relationships. Is it good? Is it bad? And how is it shaping relationships in the century? So, girls. We are all on social media. Don't yes. tell me. Have you ever posted your boyfriend before? Of course I have. It's not is nothing new yeah. and do you see that there is a positivity or there's so much negativity well in my own perception I posted him not because I wanted everyone to know that I'm, I have finally found someone I'm going out with mm -hmm. sometimes I just post things randomly you know it could be food it could be a friend's picture any mem anything funny that would you know get me happy I just do things out of out of nowhere. So clearly what you post is how you feel or how you exactly. just... Exactly. It actually not... depicts my feeling for the okay. day. Okay. Sometimes I could go a whole day without posting nothing or maybe reading through my messages and then responding and to And what's the meaning of the mood of that time? I don't know. Maybe you can call it a multiple personality disorder, but which is not anyway. Okay. It's, it's just one of those things. You know, there are times when... You wouldn't feel like doing anything at all. You just want to put your phone somewhere, be with family, be with yourself and all that. Or be with that special someone. Maybe you can say that again. Okay, surprise love. <laughs> no. Why? You're not happy about the relationship or what? I'm happy, but I feel it's a personal something. It's a personal something. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, is social media affecting our relationships? Is it giving us like a trend to follow? Christ. Social media is giving us a trend to follow mm -hmm. because many a times you see people posting their beloveds or when people are married, they post their husbands or wives for people to know their current state. Mm -hmm. So it is something that is happening. Personally, if we are married, then I can post. But as long as we are not married, I don't see any reason why I should post my beloved because I feel it's a personal something. It's a personal something. I feel like people say when you post me or on social media, you give me that assurance that I'm the only person in your life. I don't know if you agree but, with me. But have you also come across that? Um, I, should I say, have you have you ever come across? Um, a situation whereby you know especially on whatsapp yeah there's a certain way you go to privacy and then you choose the number of people you want to see your post see. okay so there are times when um your partner in quotes would want to post you and then probably you'd be the only yeah, person, the only person exactly. seen it. so you know sometimes well i personally wouldn't um applaud you for posting my picture i mean it makes no what sense i'm the only person exactly because i know people who have done that and then I check with my other number and I realize it's just my uh, my my Vodafone. Wait, so Robert, are you yes. trying to tell us that aside you being all that you are, you are an investigative of journalist? Of course. Because you go and of check course. around. See, being, being, I mean, experiencing heartbreak is a, is a whole different level. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes you could get so um, absent minded at work. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot. Just it's because your picture was posted. Or no, was posted. that's when you realize that, oh, your partner is hiding something from, from you. you. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if really he wanted everyone to see you, he wouldn't be blocking certain people. Okay. Do you understand? So that is my own perception. I don't know about you. Okay, Christ. Okay, so how will you know that your partner has blocked other people? Maybe he has blocked your other numbers or in time... He hasn't really blocked your other numbers. 
see so it's like as long as the person has put it because i'm not sure if someone has 200 contacts the person would block everyone no Christa, people people have time you know people have time share, because i'll share an that's example a flat. so exactly like that, that's the word is a flat but you just give us your example so we know what so we there have something time, solid on the ground there was a time <laughs> there was a time um i was just going through my status i, I had an issue with my partner and i was going through my status so as usual i saw that he had updated something mm -hmm. so i checked and then i went back with my business number to check and i wasn't seeing the status i i private messaged him i was like oh i'm seeing the status with my other number why am i not seeing it with this number he goes like oh bae Mire, if you're my main check, let me go through my settings and see. And, and really, you had blocked sure. my number. Do you yeah, understand? No. So, no. the way he was able to open up to you means that you are already aware this is what he does. Exactly. And he has told you already. And so, ever since has he told I got, you before? No. So, okay. ever since I got to know that part of him blocking my other number for me from um, exactly, mm -hmm. I just had my mind that, oh, Charlie, this is not something I would really want to devote myself in because, like I said, Getting a heartbreak or experiencing heartbreak is a whole different level. So it level. means that social media had a cause in that breakup. Maybe you could see that yes, again. Yes, because I, I have a feeling that if sometimes even when your friends post your pictures on their social media platforms, you feel this kind of excitement. You know. So when it's coming from the man, you you end the day saying I love you mm -hmm. or something. You feel like oh wow, because he definitely has um contact of other ladies. Mm -hmm. So you know he's telling them that stay back. Like, you don't have to shout. He's doing the talking for you that this is the woman. I think you have something that it does to you. I don't know, but maybe it's just me. Mm. Do, do you get it? It's normal. It's normal. But then, like I was saying, it's, it's funny how probably you could be the only person seeing that picture. So, Abba, would you ever say that because you're not posting me on social media, let's break up? Oh, why would I say that? Maybe you would want to choose the privacy setting. Mm-hmm relationships and social media work hand in hand mm -hmm. it shouldn't be always post i mean you shouldn't be always posting things you both do publicly mm -hmm. what if um there comes a time when um you you happen to find yourself out of that relationship with that partner what becomes of whatever post the yes. sweet moment you guys have had i was coming you have to go through your inbox or your gallery and then delete the whole thing yeah that actually makes no sense which which always happened with this celebrities couples you'll find out that as soon as they are no more together, Uko page that you see. I remember where Chris Atos, um, Chris Atos and his wife, mm -hmm. um, what's her name, Po? Dami Lola or something yeah. like that. When they were no more, I saw the news, but I wasn't too sure it was true. I went to her page and I was like, ah, so it's true. It's true. It's a, a whole lot of, like, you are giving yourself some kind of an assignment. So do you think that it's necessary that the youth or our generation now hold social media so accountable to their relationships is it necessary first of all what is social media mm -hmm. do you understand i social media is i mean when we talk about social media facebook instagram whatsapp Twitter, and all of that comes in mind yes please. but in this case i wouldn't say that um um how do you call it are we being unreal it's mm -hmm. it's it's not about a matter of being unreal mm -hmm. because you clearly said that um because your boyfriend is not posting you, you feel you're not that worthy. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is where um, peer influence comes in. Mm -hmm. Because I go to Christ love. Christ love, my boyfriend is not posting me. And then you go like, oh, forget, you know. He's already, he's posted this lady. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. post, you know. You know, so that is where, Charlie, you go out there and then you say, oh, babe, my, my, well, why are you not posting me? Then why did you post this girl on your Facebook page because she celebrated her birthday and they just sent me a WhatsApp message? I mean, that is peer influence, mm -hmm. if you should ask mm -hmm. me my own opinion. Okay. And personality profile also plays a role mm -hmm. in this discussion because someone might, like, personally on the person's own, the person doesn't like posting stuff on social media. Mm -hmm. There are some people, when you watch their status, it's all about maybe uh, church programs or activities. They don't even post their pictures. So you have to know the kind of partner that you have. If your partner is the kind of person who likes posting her pictures or his pictures and likes posting the pictures of his or her friends, then when he's not posting you, there is 
a question to ask. But if you realize that that partner, naturally, the person is not the type who likes posting, posting. on social media, then fine. So personality profile has a role to play. Mm -hmm. And I believe that women find ourselves victims for this. Is that we want to be, we want to feel important or we want to be noticed? I feel most women are overreactive, mm -hmm. and then there's too much drama in our in our own personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I would I would put myself out as an example. I'm an attention seeker when it comes to um, being in a relationship with another person because I feel like. Every time I was on the makeup, it's very real. Yeah, oh, yes, I mean, this is me. I feel <laughs> like every time you should talk to me, Consistency, okay? So, this yes. is me who wants to get to know you more. Yeah. Talk to me about your problems. Oh, how was work today? Mm -hmm. Oh, my boss did this, my boss did that, my colleague did this, this, and that happened. So that we can all talk about that, and then yeah, the bay and, mm -hmm. and then boom, you're off. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But if you are the person who is like, oh, me boom, me too much, I won't let myself out, and all of that, you know. I'm not that kind of a person. Hmm. So are we being too dramatic that we, we want to be posted, or we want to be seen on their social media pages? Media pages. You know, ladies, naturally, we want to feel loved. Mm -hmm. We want our man to show us that, hey, girl, I love you. Okay. So if at the end of the day, the man is proving everything to you that he loves you and he's not, per perhaps you might have a male uh, partner and that partner is not uh, introducing you to your friend you might but Christa, why do you say you, you might have a male partner because i, I will want a male partner I, I, i'm straight <laughs> <laughs> oh yes clearly i'm straight clearly. let yeah. me let me put clearly. out my stance so clearly. nobody will clearly. test me that so <laughs> you have a partner and that partner is, is not even introducing you to his friend mm -hmm. you might end up thinking that is he cheating on me? Why is he not bold enough to introduce me to his friends? Mm -hmm. And social media constitutes of friends, friends and family. families and uh, the unknown. And yeah. the unknown. So if that person is not posting you, it's like, is it that he's hiding me from someone? Or there is something that I have to know about him that he's hiding from me? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, so many things come to play in social media and relationships. Okay, so let me come in. Mm -hmm. You said something that if your partner is not introducing you to his friends mm -hmm. or, I mean, vice versa, mm -hmm. what would you gain if your partner introduces you to his friends? Many a times, uh, it brings a form of security. Are you sure? And trust. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, most of those things, they do not work. <laughs> I'm like, you speaking out of experience because, because, out of experience because, because, because you know, I know of it. From all what she said, your attention was only from what the past oh, she no. said you that, know yes so there's this friend of mine mm -hmm. okay i'm not trying to expose her okay. but um she she i mean i mean girls girls conversations mm -hmm. and all of that we were talking and then she said in another and he so so, so hasn't introduced me to his friends yet mm -hmm. and i said oh should you be worried apparently the guy had introduced someone else and then his friends knew so Whoa. when it came a time where he had to introduce my friends mm -hmm. his friends are like Oh, oh, okay. So you know that kind of surprise look. Mm -hmm. You're like, when oh, we know there's our wife there's already. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then you yeah, are just a side chick. Mm -hmm. So that is when you realize that Charlie Sana me a side chick. Oh. <laughs> yes. So you need to play your cards. So, though. Christ, I think, well, I don't think that you should be a person. So, in that way, you feel insecure and you feel like his world should know me mm -hmm. just so that nobody will rush into that space so we will hold on there and we'll go for a short commercial break so you can keep sending in your comments in the comment section and we'll be reading them for you stay tuned And you welcome back and you are still here with us and it's the waves of love love in the air i'm still joined in with my girls nanaba and christ love we are still talking about social media and its effect on our relationships so we are asking that do you find some kind of approval or security from your partner posting you on his social media you think it's just a waste of time let's find out so christ love 
what are you supposed to post? Like, how far should you go with your post on social media? Because I can see that lately people do not even care if they are posting their man, yeah. them having sex, or even as it's new to you. Yeah. Oh, sister, please. You didn't see the slower challenge. I've seen a couple of them. There, there were ones that it's not just the single women who are doing it or mm -hmm. the women who are doing mm -hmm. it. The couples were doing it together. And my oh my. I'm wondering what happens if you guys are no longer there. Because I, I, I feel like I feel like when you post things on social media about your partner, it's an advertisement that I am taking. So you don't have any chance or you don't stand any chance. Are you not putting yourself out there that your, your life has come to an end when it comes to relationship? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, in most cases, you feel like I have my partner now, so every lady or every guy should just back off. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen someone who is more serious and who is more willing to pursue you. Mm -hmm. So at what point should we post our pictures like your, you and your partner's picture on social media. Is it even media. necessary? So if it's necessary, because I feel like people, you see, as she said, mm -hmm. sometimes it gives you that security that mm -hmm. I am known. Like, mm -hmm. hello. When you see me, sometimes you see someone, you don't know the person, but because the, the boy is posting to him, mm -hmm. no. Oh, yes. What that's 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 if it's just a picture, <clears throat> maybe the picture of you two together, or the picture of the guy, maybe the, it's the person's birthday, mm -hmm. or maybe the person has received an award or something, you are celebrating the person on a special day. It's cool, but if uh, the posts are very sensitive. When you say sensitive, what are you trying to say? Yes. Be clear, because I feel like I could be a dictionary, I could share sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> sensitive yeah. in the sense that. More dirty, like more mm -hmm. Even in marriage, mm -hmm. okay. Ne be our posty picture. Be I be I a partner in the bedroom, mm -hmm. or you are sitting in the hall and you are half naked or something, yeah. or you are kissing, mm -hmm. or maybe you are in the kitchen and you are almost half naked. Such pictures. For me, should not be posted. Yeah. But you can post the picture of the person if it's his or her birthday, or you are celebrating your partner on any special day. Then it's cool. So yes. the content, the content of what you are posting is also plays a key. Yeah. So you believe that occasionally it's fine. Okay. Yeah. And it should be clean. Nothing too. But indecent. have you also have you also seen or have you also come across um, a situation whereby you post a picture of you? And then we'll cover your face with an emoji. Oh, oh Abba. I have not. I have, that's why I've not come out as an actual This thing I have. <laughs> what does it actually mean? Because me, but sometimes I don't, have an I don't have an experience with but I have a friend who was posting her boyfriend. <laughs> if you are watching this, I'm sorry, but hello, let's discuss this. Mm -hmm. She was posting, they were in a distance relationship. Yeah. And she was posting the guy's picture. Mm -hmm. And every time there is an emoji on the guy's face, I was like, why? What is happening? Is it with, is it with your will? <laughs> or it's with a command? Yeah. And he said, oh, the person does not want to, he's not into social media. Mm -hmm. I believe that if somebody is not in social media, show me his face. Yes. Because he's not into social media. So there's nothing at stake. Exactly. Do you understand mm -hmm. me? But if you are posting somebody's picture and you place it, an emoji on it. I mean, it could be three what is the essence? Involved. Yes. What is the essence of posting it at all? Because mm -hmm. it's better than you posting a black. Because they need many episodes. So why would you post a full body uh -huh. and then have the person's face so with an emoji? And it doesn't What are you trying to tell us? Maybe I'll do a better one. Oh. 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 But. And then, 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 and some do. That one. No, it's it about five them. On a scale no. of one to ten, I'll choose about five men. Who oh, on a scale of one to ten, I'll take a two. 
you know why i don't know but like i clearly said earlier on women are very dramatic mm -hmm. we want everyone to know that hey i've started dating my boyfriend has a car so let's mm -hmm. snap in his car mm -hmm. you know to be a person yeah. but this is your boyfriend who wouldn't want to even post a, um, a pair of shoes mm -hmm. which belongs to you on facebook mm -hmm. or whatever um social media platform um he or him he finds himself on do you understand yeah. so i women are very dramatic we i think we we, we go overboard maybe because like every woman i don't know but i don't know if you guys feel the same when the guy was chasing you you were not even into him mm -hmm. but at a point you realize that mm -hmm. ah, sister, mm -hmm. oh yes well i'm got be careful mm, that's what i've gotten to the guy it's not there again. And I'm wondering, what are you doing me here? When you know you were not going to go to that journey with me. You know? Yes. You and know? I, I think we have, we, 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 what do you call it? We fantasize so much in our brain and in our mind. And we believe like, you're supposed to go on that journey with us. We want to achieve what we are seeing in our brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are with me or mm -hmm. I'm the only one who does that. No, it happens. Yes. It's real. Yes. So in that case, when you have that fantasy and you just want to, sometimes you see the things on social media and you just want to have the feel of it. Yes. Mm. How are you able to tell your boyfriend that, oh, this is what I'm seeing on social media, let's try it, and not let him feel offended like you are comparing things? What if your boyfriend is the type that is not a social media fan? Mm -hmm. Yes. What you wish, no, you go to wherever you want to, what you not to see. Not mm -hmm. You didn't hey. do nothing. Because some of the guys, they are not really... So you would even go overboard and say, Oh, my boyfriend is antisocial. My boyfriend or chin too much, or bunuho too much, but mm. maybe something he's not used to. Mm. Do you understand? So yeah. there is no cause for an alarm? Oh no, to me no. Okay. So sometimes he wants to be private. Mm-hmm. Um, person being in him too much. Too much. Well, so that's not too much. Me. Maybe not. It could be that he's already dating someone. So he doesn't uh -huh. that. Because <laughs> you see, sometimes what you post shows who you are, mm -hmm. and what you are not posting also shows who you are. Because yeah. a lot of times people will post something, you feel like maybe they are going through emotional. I don't know if you ever post an emoji with tears. You see the number of people who exactly. send you a message. Yeah, I don't know if they are coming to gossip, or they just want to be concerned. That is why I said that I post right. things according to my feeling mm -hmm. yes it's not necessarily it's about how i feel mm. and it's about what i want to post it's sometimes it's not about my emotions mm -hmm. do you understand sometimes it's about me seeing something interesting and i feel like posting, posting. christ uh, personally i'm very particular about the things that i post okay especially on facebook mm -hmm. i'm the type who doesn't post anything on facebook basically devotionals or church programs or activities or if there is any special occasion then i'll post on facebook but on my status when i find something interesting i can post on my status status is um uh, whatsapp is different from facebook whatsapp constitutes your friends people who have your contact yeah and people you can control you know. mm -hmm. exactly so you can Post the picture of your partner on your status. But on Facebook, for me personally, Facebook is very sensitive to me because Facebook constitutes a wider, you know, coverage of but people. But you can still you can still manage it with your settings. Facebook You can choose the number of people you'd want to view your, your post. Yes, I think on Instagram to now Public, you can also accept I think yes. acquaintances, um family and yes. 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 you can, you can do still manage that. You can do that but as well. I might not really have the time to. It's like, as I didn't know, post, you know. Open time. You have to put in a, a lot of work. Uh -huh. So then you don't even you post at all. Yes, exactly. So you yeah. don't have to post at all. Oh. So for status, it's cool. But for Facebook, for me, it's a bit sensitive. So, Christa, would you ever find yourself posting your loved one on social media, like your Facebook? Because you might find yourself in love with so someone so much that you want to show the world that. If it's a week to our marriage, fine. If it's a week to, to our marriage, marriage, it's fine. That so one. if it's a week to our marriage, it's okay to be. 
yeah. posting that your partner. That one I know that the person is mine, like on your media. So, Kasa, you are trying to, you are telling us that <laughs> the reasons why you are not posting <laughs> is because she yes. feels the person wasn't for you. Yes, yes, that someone will take him from you. Anything can happen. Yeah. I, I know a friend. Even before marriage, always, anything can happen. I know a friend. Mm -hmm. The moment she starts dating, she's posting the guy. Okay. And, Obon said, no, 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 I sign alcohol before fraud, no posting panel. So the last one, I told obvious. her that, bear my way, dear, don't post the person. Mm -hmm. See, I'm worried. So I don't know the reason why, like, something that you go through all the time that is not working for you, you, you continue. continue. Because me, for instance, the reason why later I don't post people, um, like, pictures of men unless it's their baby is i realized that it was spoiling my connections mm -hmm. i don't know if you ever feel <laughs> oh, that yes way. yes you post someone that you don't even have him in your mind say yeah. open open mm -hmm. and now some of the same dating pool and people will be like hey wow people even screenshot and post it and write mm -hmm. save their date when you have not the person <laughs> Actually, has not yes it and happens. sometimes it's even like, am I we are unsure? Because I'm building that brain. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah. You know, or should I even go ahead and then pursue him or just relax for him? Because of me? that, I, I realize people are taking social media too serious. Mm -hmm. You can't even joke. At all. You can't even At joke. All. And if you should. Occasion be a horn man. No, I'm and just, it now it is a strictly diabetes. Or probably you give me a surprise lunch or something. And I. <laughs> then my wonderful guy, please bring a <laughs> Oh, baby, restrict me. Yeah. Because if you are not in a relationship, I'm posting you. It's like I'm selling myself out say I'm in a relationship while mm -hmm. I'm not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And on social media, I'm supposed to say, who post you, be a. If someone has an idea or if someone knows the person, the person talks to you about the other person. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who knows you, okay? And when I posted you and I a picture on my status, it's like, ah, and you find that name. Yeah. Like, Vida, oh, I, I need That's how somebody from Negis. And the person started talking yeah. about Vida. Yeah. So it's That's also, true. so if maybe your partner is uh, some way. That's what I'm, I'm about Max to say. Too personal. Mm. If, not too personal, but if your partner is also having another partner, social media is the best place for you to know. Yeah. When you post his picture. And yeah, it's, it's true. true. Post when you post his picture. Because that's how a friend got heartbroken. Hashtag. That's how a friend got heartbroken. Like, a friend of hers mm -hmm. posted, um, a friend of hers friend posted the same guy who she was dating. Mm -hmm picture on Facebook mm -hmm. with a long essay. Wow. And you could see from the message that mm -hmm. and I don't know the guy I was on some post CD or send it be fine. I don't know. There was even one that went viral on social media. I don't I, I think Nana Badama even came into the scene and all of those things. People mm -hmm. were laughing at the lady. There was a lady in Nigeria and there was one in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We posted the same guy on his birthday. I don't know if you guys saw wow. it. No I'm not sure I did. Oh but I I feel like sometimes if you are ready to be heartbroken, you can get the strength and mm -hmm. post your boyfriend's picture just for you to be sure <laughs> if you are the only person he's dating. It's true. It's true. Yes, that I think that challenge should come instead of yeah. the slowest. No, post your boyfriend challenge. Yeah, maybe you need who go for best a half. Also, I want to go dating. Best a half, not just a single. Yeah, bye bye. So that we can it's register true. ourselves and then we see how we start the whole process again. You know, we see who we are maintaining, who we are giving up, and mm -hmm. all of those things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's best. You don't know certain things. So. That is the thing. Well, <laughs> well, I think <laughs> you uh -huh. understand. So I think so you just say to yourself that, Charlie. I wish I didn't even know this guy. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't even know this post. You understand? So, so I think we are all trying to tell everyone that it's enough with the things we post on social media. This life, Ankata, is not balanced. It's not balanced. Yes. <laughs> It's a shaky cracker. It's a social media not <laughs> balanced at I don't all. I don't know balancing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Christ love. I know that you you love to teach people just so they could have a best relationship. What's your advice for the young people coming with social media and what to post and what not to post? Okay, so I'll say that depending on the level where the relationship has gotten to, mm -hmm. you can post your partner, but you should look at the content that you are posting. So maybe um, your partner, you two have come to that place where you know that our real coin so on a year corner. Oh, but me up with panel once a while. Be bare coin, you go away. But you can say, be a a fan of more shots here for free. And I say, be a you guys are not even doing free night sports. You know, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go 
as a be happy who exists, eh, in a way that we know, for we people, when you watch their stories, I feel like at some point they are telling a story, yes, it's a sequential voice. Please repeat that again if you watch their status, you can trace their story, it's true, and all their exes, and all their exes. In Tina, we are very sensitive. No, who be a relationship, na kwa ako do, na say, who be a alpha could do not, then. You, you can, can talk be about it. It's not me, 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 one week to a wedding, I post you. Especially on Facebook. But then I know she will. One week to a wedding, yeah, she's so, me, she 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 too mean. <laughs> <laughs> she's too mean. She's too mean. Okay, she's so, Nanava. Yes, yeah, so if you should ask me, I would say that just do you. Mm. Okay, do you. Don't do anyone. Make sure whatever thing you post. Is in accordance to whatever thing that you wish. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're feeling. Make sure that whatever thing you post is according to whatever feeling you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't always be about social media. Use the social media for something beneficial. If you have a private business, that is where you can advertise. Mm -hmm. Search for more clients. Make the papers. Do you understand? Everything yeah. shouldn't be about posting your partner yeah. here and posting your partner People there. are even using social media to make money. Exactly. Money. Social media mm -hmm. to trace your exes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, you heard from the leaders, and I'll say the same thing. I don't think you need to be restricting yourself and putting yourself in a box because you don't know. There are so many doors that will be opening to you. You don't need to put yourself in that box. Just post what you feel like posting. So at least when it even ends badly, you know what to do. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you same time tomorrow as a vibe and the waves of love.